This is the only video you need to watch to make your mic sound as good as possible. So let's dive in. Okay, first of all, make sure you are talking to the right side of the microphone. You know, and in some cases, you need to talk towards the microphone from the side, like in my case, to capture the sound in the best possible way, while at the other types of microphones, you need to talk towards the top of the microphone. So be aware what kind of microphone you have. Okay, now let's set up the microphone within the OBS. First of all, make sure that you have set up your microphone you are using as your default microphone. So for that, go for the settings, audio and microphone. Make sure that you have choose the one you are using. In my case, microphone 2C1U. Apply, OK. And then, of course, we can see in the audio mixer the audio levels of my microphone. While you are normally talking in OBS, your audio in the audio mixer should be in the yellow zone. So you don't want to be in the green zone while you are just casually talking. And definitely you don't want to be in the red zone. So first of all, before we start with any settings within the OBS, go to your audio settings. So right click on this audio icon at the bottom right. Sounds, recordings, and now double click on your microphone. Here we will go to levels and you want to play with the levels of your microphone. In default, the level is set to 50 and you can play with those levels to make sure that you with your microphone will stay in the yellow zone while normally talking in the OBS. In my case, as you can see, we got it already on 100 and yet we cannot be consistently in the yellow zone. So luckily to fix that, we got there some filters within OBS that could actually help us. But as I said, in your case, try to play with the level to stay consistently in the yellow zone. If you are like me, just hit OK and we are going towards the OBS. In case you would like to hear how it actually sounds, what we are going to change in the next minutes, you can click on those three dots and go to Advanced Audio Properties. Here we can change the audio monitoring from Monitor Off to Monitor and Output. Thanks for what we can hear our microphone in the headphones and therefore we are going to hear all of the changes we are going to make in a second. Okay, so as we already set the microphone and we try to adjust the audio levels within the PC, to stay consistently within the yellow zone, because as I said already, we want to stay with our microphone in the audio mixer within the yellow zone. We don't want to be in the green one and definitely don't want to be in the red one. So I will click on those three dots and we are going for the filters. Okay, so as while we are normally talking, we are not able to stay consistently in the yellow area. First of all, we want to add some gain. So hit the plus and go for the gain. And now set up the gains so that you can consistently stay within the yellow area. Okay, so it looks like 10 should be sufficient gain for us. In your case, of course, if you were able to stay consistently within the yellow zone only thanks to audio level settings, that's all right. You don't have to play with the gain at all. Okay, so we set up the gain. Next filter you want to use is noise suppression. You want to use the noise suppression as the second filter because for all of the filters that you are going to use next, you want to play already with the clean sound you will have after you will suppress the noise. Here we can choose the method you want to use. In case you got some modern graphics card, you can have here multiple choices. Simply said, as lower you go, the better noise suppression you got, but also it takes so much more more power from your PC as lower you goes and vice versa as higher it goes the lower quality of the noise suppression you got but also it takes less power from your PC so in the end you have to find the right balance between those two so in case I will choose the second option it will suppress the noise automatically I don't need to set up anything but in case I will choose the upper option I can play with the suppression level thanks to the noise suppression you want to basically suppress the background noise in your microphone what means that we want to reach that while you are completely silent you don't want to see any movement within your audio mixer so now i will turn off the noise suppression and you can see that we still could see the movement in the audio mixer even though i was completely silent so i will turn it on and you could see that now we could barely see any movement so minus 30 decibels could be all right but you can play with these settings to find the sweet spot. In my case, I believe the minus 25 should be optimal. Just like that. Okay, so now as we already suppressed the background noise, we can add another filter. So let's go with a three band equalizer. Here, we can basically play with the highs, mids and low tones of your microphone. And you need to play with this a little bit because when you will go too high with your highs, you might sound a little bit too like in the radio and uh, at the same time while you will go too low with your lows your mic might sound too crisp i guess 
So you need to find the right and sweet spot what settings you will set there. In my case, I prefer to go with the minus five with the highs, with minus 2.5 with the mid and lows I like to set for the tree. This is the current setting that you can hear on my video. But in your case, of course, these settings might differ. Next two filters that we are going to use is expander and compressor. Firstly, let's go with the expander. Thanks expander, we want to increase the sound of all of the quiet sounds. So in case we are whispering and we are consistently in the yellow zone, we want to increase those sounds to stay in the yellow. Okay, so for that, the expander settings, I like to set the ratio to three, attack to one millisecond, release to 100 and move threshold all the way to the left. Now try to speak as quiet as possible, the most quiet as you would speak on your stream and move with your output gain until you will stay consistently in the yellow zone while you are whispering. Now we can consistently stay in the yellow zone. Okay, so plus 14 on the output gain, should be just all right. And now we are going to play with the threshold so that we can find the sweet spot when the expander filter will actually start. You can see that when I will put it at the top, it actually does not detect my whispering at all. So I need to go lower and I need to test when it actually starts detecting my whispering. So I guess whispering around the levels of minus 33 should be sufficient. Okay, so this was expander. Thanks this, even though you will be quiet on stream, your audience will hear you just good enough so that you will stay in the yellow zone. Okay, so thanks this filter, we actually bring the quiet noises back to yellow zone. And the next filter we are going to use is actually compressor. Thanks which we will bring all of those screaming and loud noises back towards the yellow zone. Okay, so here once again, ratio at the three, threshold I'm going to set for the zero, attack to one millisecond, release to 100 once again. And now what you need to do is shout into your microphone the maximum as you would on your stream, and you need to move your threshold towards the left until you will not get towards this red zone. So in my case, even though I could go as loud as possible, so even though let's say at the moment I'm talking quite loudly, we are not getting towards those limits anymore. And also what I like to do for the stream, I'm decreasing the output gain for the minus five dB. Just like that. So in that case, you can play with the threshold a little bit once again while you are screaming. But this is how I got set up the compressor within my OBS. Threshold minus 60, output gain minus 5 dB. In those last two filters, the expander and compressor, be careful with your threshold. And it's very useful when you can actually listen to yourself, to your microphone, how it sounds, because if you will be too harsh in the setting up the threshold, you can actually damage how you sound because those filters will have a hard time to define when you are quiet, when you are screaming, and therefore it might take some time until they will activate themselves. Therefore, it could cut the first letters of the words you are going to say. So don't be too harsh while setting up those threshold levels. Okay, and the last filter we are going to add is the limiter. Simply said, limiter limits the levels above which your audio can go. So in case I will set it for the minus 15 dB, you can see that we cannot cross the minus 15 dB level within the audio mixer. But of course we don't want to do that, we only want to limit so that we cannot go off from the zero. So in case there would be some extra noisy sound, like your microphone simply drops or anything else, you don't want it to go above the zero level. So for that, set the threshold for the zero and click this bottom arrow once so that we will be a little bit behind the zero level so that your safety catch will be set slightly behind this zero level area and the release might stay at the 60 milliseconds. Okay, but basically that's it. Those were the best microphone settings for the OBS. In case you are still not satisfied enough with the quality of your final sound, and you want to improve your audio quality in the edit process a little bit more, you can take a look on my video how to improve sound quality in DaVinci Resolve. But for today, that's really all. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you all in the next video. Goodbye.